Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts Unleashing Conceptual Learning. We are here with you to make your engineering more simple and uh, more conceptual. Okay, so visit our website claryconcepts.com for more such conceptual videos. So today in this lecture, we will be talking about the stability of floating body and I am 110% sure that this lecture, whatever animations we have brought for you, whatever visuals we have brought for you, this will really help you to understand this topic in a better way. If you refer this topic through reference books or textbooks, you will not find it that easy to understand. And this is really confusion. I mean, the topic where student has a lot of confusions, uh, you know, creating it up. So let us move ahead. But before I move ahead, I would like to show you one uh, image, rather one video. You might have seen that when you get on board with the ships or boats, uh, the boat takes, you know, it, 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 it basically uh, uh, have some different kind of motions. And this may also frighten you of that the bot should not get toppled and all right but don't worry the bots and ships are designed with more greater stability and today in this lecture we are going to talk about the stability guidelines of a floating body itself right so let us uh, look at one very interesting video i have got it for you this is taken from design squad global youtube channel and they are showing you the cross sectional of a sheep or other kayak you can see when a person sits on it. Now, this is the water surface that you see. This is the center of gravity of the entire uh, person plus ship. And the blue color point is center of buoyancy. Now, if you closely see, blue color is the centroid of the uh, portion of ship which is submerged in the water surface. right? So, if the, there is a tilt because of some waves and all, this, oh, uh, you know, uh, restoring couple will help the bot to come up. But when